Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. Here we're going to be talking about how to replace your Toyota Vios 2017 Gen 2 um, cabin oil filter the correct way. There are actually two ways. One is from the factory, Toyota factory, and the other one would be if you're using an aftermarket air filter. So we're going to be discussing about those more later on. So here we go. Uh, first thing, open up the glove compartment, twist to the right where the left side is being pulled and you'll be able to remove the glove compartment easily. So this is our cabin air filter box. Um, this is where the filter is located. Um, all you have to do is open up this cover right here. Um, you'll notice that it has a logo that says up. I will discuss more about that later on. So going back to the discussion we had earlier about two types of air filters. So the cabin air filters from the Toyota factory says that the arrow should point up because it says up on the cover. But it doesn't say really it was meant for the airflow. All horizontally mounted cabin air filters with the blower mounted below the filter have downward airflow, which means the air is coming down, not going up. So the word up on the Toyota cabin air filter have nothing to do with the airflow direction at all. So the word up you are seeing there in the filter cover simply tells us which side goes up if you're installing a Toyota branded filter, similar to the example picture right here. Most aftermarket cabin air filters do not have up arrows but they have airflow arrows instead and all of those airflow arrows should point down when you're installing the air filter so this is all credit to Jack Denhill promoter thank you very much man all right going back to the video we had earlier regarding installation so this is the box where we're going to be adding the air filter here that we just purchased from a local store this is 350 pesos and yes it is not oem so i'm basing everything on the arrows that it is showing me so it has it actually has an airflow arrow which points down so this is how i'm going to be installing it to my um air filter box here so the arrows is pointing down here regardless if the cover is telling me it's showing up this is just telling me that's meant for the um toyota oem um air filters but this is an aftermarket one so i'm gonna base everything with the arrows pointing down where the airflow is all right so once everything is perfectly fitted um you'll know if it's perfectly fitted because it's already snug in there perfectly um it's not sticking out so you can just go ahead and put back the cover uh, for the air filter box and then let's go ahead and return the glove compartment and how it's going to be returned back is quite easy as well same thing you did earlier we just mount it on the right side and then try to push it in on the left side until you feel that it's already hooked up wiggle a little bit and you're all set all right so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you learned a lot as i did thank you guys